Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. So we're gonna just jump right into it. Clip Studio Paint version 2.0 is officially out and I am hyped. Now I used the new head model to actually create this character that I'm drawing right here. This is one of my OCs, Aaliyah. And so they came out with a cool with a few cool new features in version 2.0 that I love. 3D features, they got a hand scanner, they have like um they have like a three-point perspective fisheye thing. They got oh um shading assist. So it's like, yeah, it's a few cool new features. And in this video, we're gonna check them out and just like see what we think about them. I'm also gonna talk about <clears throat> how I feel like some of the features could be better. Just give some of my recommendations. Um, because as far as the head model, like I do have some ideas about how I feel like that feature could be better. And if you watch my channel, you know that I love using three of the 3D models from Clip Studio Paint of Clip Studio Paint. That's my favorite software. So without further ado, let's jump into using some of these features. So first off, we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna do the head model now. This is my thing, right? I thought that the that the facial features was gonna actually come on the 3D models, but they don't. It's like a separate like 3D model head. And that's cool, you know what I mean? Cause <clears throat> like say you have like an up close shot of the person's face, like you could do that, you know, with the 3D model head, so that was cool. Um, and actually there is a way that you can put the head onto the 3D model, which is what I'm gonna show you right here. And you can also save the head as like a character, so that way you don't have to keep on <clears throat> modeling it every time you use it. So that's useful. So, <clears throat> so like I was saying, you can actually take the head and put it on the 3D model and then use the camera movement icons to actually move the head and the 3D model together. So, once I figured that out, I was like, all right, cool. And you can also adjust the features on a 3D head, such as the forehead size, the eyebrows, the eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth, like the face as a whole. You could like tilt it and do really cool stuff with it. So now... My suggestion for this feature is that I feel like you should be like you should be able to like open the mouth like and maybe you'll be able to choose like different teeth for your character and it should be actually bones in her face and the tongue like it would be cool if like we can make the tongue stick out so that way we could work on different facial expressions with our characters because when you're doing a facial expression for an illustration or an animation or whatever, the face actually does move. It doesn't stay in that shape. So I feel like that would be a very useful feature to add <clears throat> to the 3D head model. So now when you put in a 3D head model onto the actual 3D model, you have to continuously like um, look at it from different angles like from the side angle and from the front angle to make sure you're positioning the head on a 3d model correctly <clears throat> because it could look fine from the front but then when you turn it you can see that it's not lined up accurately and you're gonna have to turn it anyway to actually to actually get it on the front right so see like you could put it on there and you're probably not gonna see the face all the way and that's because you have to actually turn the model to the side and stretch the face forward <clears throat> so if you have tried clip studio paint already 2.0 version and if you tried the new features let me know what you think about the head model in the comments down below 
if you like my videos and you want to see more, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. Okay, so in this part of the video, we're actually going to explore, like, um, adjusting a head from scratch on my second 3D model here. Another one of my main characters, Aurora, who is Aaliyah's sister. Now, this is how the head originally looks like when you first put it on the canvas. Like, this is, like, the neutral basic head that you're going to get. Now... You're going to click on the ranch looking icon and it's going to give you different heads that you can actually choose from if you want to go down that route or you can go to facial features and just adjust the head on your own. Me, I went to the face mixer to like um, choose a head and then adjust it from there. So I chose the head as you can see in the top left corner. I actually like the middle head as well, and if you want, you can mix and match different features to create a very unique looking face, which I think is really dope and really awesome, and I'm definitely going to take advantage of this feature. Like, I'm going to play with it a lot. Like, I can just see myself definitely using it in the future and, like, playing with it and coming up with these really cool, like, different faces. You see how you can give it cheekbones by doing a skeletal face? So dope. Like, you can even um, give it male features because you have the male face that you can choose from at the bottom. So, that's cool. So. Sorry, guys. But those little dry. Hold on. Let me get up in the drink right quick so I can finish. Okay. Sorry, guys. All right. So, um, yeah. So... Like I was saying, I definitely think there's room for improvement when it comes to, like, the 3D head. As far as, like, us being able to open a mouth and choose teeth and just be able to do more with this so that we can really get the results that we want when it comes to, like, the illustration and stuff. Like, that would be fire. That's, like... Oh, and um, also just, like, another thing that they could probably improve is, like, it would be dope if they would actually put the face on even though i just showed you that we could connect the face but it would be dope if they still like put the face on the actual 3d model so we don't gotta go through that extra step you know what i mean and so we can have the head separate but we can also have the face on a 3d model you know what i mean so that would just be fire just throwing it out there i'm excited to use this feature so, let me know in the comments down below what features you're excited to use and, like, if you're excited about the new 3D features, who I definitely am. Like, I love using a 3D model, so when I heard that they was doing, like, 3D features, I'm like, oh, my God, let me see what I got, let me see what I got. That's, like, so excited for it. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm just pretty much playing with the features here, the nose, like, you can, you see how you can, like, change the position of the nose and everything, and, like, you can actually make it look less pointy, like, you can make the nose look like it's broke, like, you can see, you can make it wider with, like, the width, that's cool, change the bridge to the nose, look, 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 oh my god, that's so fire, like, you can actually make the nose look like broke like a hook nose i'm definitely gonna use that feature on like some of my male characters that i want to look like you know like a little bit more badass like they be fighting this shit and he got his nose broke <laughs> like yo this is so good for that and you can change the mouth look at them little ass lips that i put but yeah you could change the mouth you could put it like full lips really thin lips purse lips yeah so <clears throat> a lot of cool features and then you can actually a wide mouth which is like weird like that character in that animation i forgot the name of it about the monster and the hormones y'all know what i'm talking about <laughs> how they mouth be mad wide and shit like yeah if you, if you like doing characters like that then yeah you know you're gonna exaggerate the features which is cool 
But yeah, you guys. So that's how it looks to just like create that whole head model from scratch. And that's just the process that I went through as, as far as that. Everything else that you see me doing is pretty much repetitive what I already did on my other character. I just wanted to show y'all how it looked from scratch as opposed to already having the model already done like I had with the other one. So, yes. And let's move on to our next feature. So, another really cool feature that we're going to talk about is the hand scanner. So, pretty much, like, you just, um, you click on that 3D hand model, and then you click on the ranch icon, and then you go down to pose, and then you click on the camera icon, and it should allow the camera of your tablet or whatever device you're using to scan your hands to actually do different things with the 3D hand model. Now, you, as you can see, it does what my hand is doing, but it's kind of like not you see how like the finger is kind of messed up there like it's not fully doing it so there's definitely some bugs that i feel like needs to be fixed when it comes to the hand scanner but besides that i think like it like once they perfect it that's gonna be a really awesome feature to use i'll definitely be using in the, fe in the future So moving on, another feature that I will definitely be using is the shading assist feature because I am okay at shading, but I'm definitely still working on like um, learning my light sources and doing shading and how it differs from the time of day. like. Shading looks different in the morning than it would the evening and the night, you know? So I'm still learning that. So this shade assist feature is definitely very useful. And so what I also learned about playing around with this feature, right? How you want to do it is... So you want to put the line layer as a reference layer. And then make sure all your colors are like on the same layer so that it could shade like everything because what I was noticing at first, my colors always in on the same layer and it was just like shading the hair. And I'm like, why is it just shading the hair, bro? Like that's weird. And then, so that's when I learned that you actually have to put the, um, the colors on on the same layer. And then you can actually move the light source around and it'll give you I'm going to show you how to shade the look from that position of where your light source is. And then when you're done, you just click OK. And you'll have a bunch of other layers so you can actually see, like, the steps of the shading process, which is really cool. And, you know, I just feel like I could learn a lot from that feature. So I'm definitely going to play, be playing around with that feature a lot in the future. You see, oh my God, that's how it looked during the nighttime. It looks completely different. Like that's what I'm talking about. Like I really love this feature. That's morning. You see how different it looks, bro? Like, yo, that is insane, bro. Like that's, oh, they have different light features, right? So that's fake back, like that stage, like that's gonna be so good for Aaliyah because you know she's a dancer. So that's gonna be a good feature we could use. And oh my God, color like again when she's on stage and she's like this, so we could definitely use this feature so that it works out so well. Like I'm so like excited to use these features in the future. Okay, so another feature that we're gonna talk about that I'm definitely gonna use is this fish eye perspective. Oh my God, love this feature because like I've been like really trying to like practice using what the perspective rulers and i just love this one of the perspective one of the perspectives i actually love is fish eye perspective so i'm definitely gonna be using this feature a lot so if you like my videos guys make sure you remember to like and subscribe to this channel hit that bell notification so you're notified every time i upload a video 
I have many more coming out. Super excited. So this is when I actually finally figured out how to use it. Look at it. It's so dope. Ah, I'm excited to use this feature. Oh my god, so excited. Alright guys, but that's it for this video. I'm out. Peace and love. And enjoy using Clip Studio Paint version 2.0. Later, guys.